Toongrin.com Hello! This is Reluctant Werewolf. Now, this was the last movie that HB Superstars 10 won, and I can safely say the last two screen movies didn't really satisfy me as a kid or as an adult fully, for the reason I explained in the previous reviews. Reluctant Werewolf, on the other hand, in my opinion, fits close to the issues I have with the previous movies. But were there issues with this one too? Let's find out. The story goes that Shaggy, Scrappy, and Scooby are a gold wedding car driving trio, with most of the same skills as Speed Racer and that buggy ripoff show. And they also have Googie as their cheerleader, played by BJ Ward, who's Shaggy's girlfriend. Don't worry, she'll disappear soon enough from memory. Meanwhile, the stereotypical Transylvania castle, Dracula, played by Hamilton Camp, is furious to hear that his werewolf has retired and won't be taking part with the rest of the monsters in the Monster Road Rally. But luck shines on old Drac as his little mini werewolf thing. Why can't they just let that werewolf drive the car? Tell us him about a curse that will befall a mortal man under the new moon and turn him into a new werewolf. And guess which unlucky cowardly hippie it turns out to be. That's right, Norvo, aka Shaggy. So Drax sends out the most fierce set of monsters, the Hunch Bunch. They turn Shaggy into a werewolf and force him and the rest of the gang to take part in the race. Will Shaggy, Scooby, Scrappy, and Googie? Googie, be able to win, or will Shaggy be a werewolf forever? Now, let's start with the compliment before we get into the crap. First off, the coloring, I have to admit, looks a lot better than the other two movies, who had very washed down colors. Reluctant Werewolf turns out the color for all the character models and major assets, making them pop on screen. That and the models of all the monsters, including Werewolf Shaggy, are well drawn and distinct, mostly based on the usual designs of the features. But there are some pretty creative monsters there, like the Dragonfly. Finally, the animation fluidity is a little better, but not extremely overhauled. If you like the style of Moon in the other movies, you won't notice a difference. Next, the character Dracula and the Hunch Bunch basically steal the show for the most part, having some of the best dialogue, slapstick, and jokes among them. Some fall flat, but for me, most results. Next, the group dynamic of Scooby and the gang. Worked well. Scooby and Jenny being the drivers in an onslaught of peril, and the other two annoying one stuck in the back at the pit crew, and only given the task to just say, WATCH OUT! and get an enemy captured. Oh, and bonus, Scrappy keeps his mouth mostly shut, and his Captain Obvious complex is toned down greatly to the point where he's bearable to listen to. Yay! The story, while taking a spin on the old racing movie plotline by adding monsters, is pretty straightforward. Not a bad thing, this shows that the plot is able to keep a consistent story and joke pace throughout the movie, and allows it not to drag. In most points. Which leads directly to puns! I can definitely say that the puns are better than in Ghoul School, and more cleverly used, saving them for these mid-race bits. But, as the movie uses it now, it is just the same joke being told three times. And the rule with telling a joke three times, the third time should have, you know, be the charm. Something more to it. Not just the bloody same. Next in obvious complaint still is that Scrappy, this time, like I said, a big plus that he doesn't talk, but what's also apparent is that he barely contributes to anything, except for Captain Obvious moments, and moments where we have to make Scrappy seem competent, which come up as forced and just contrived. But these are just small bits of dirt on a delicious cake of a movie, with this more goofier tone, setting, and story. I gotta say that I have trouble choosing whether I like Reluctant Werewolf over Hollywood or not. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Reluctant Werewolf wins the 80s! This is a definite recommendation. Pick this up if you have kids, a fan of animation who like myself, or love Scooby-Doo, even in weird settings and situations. You won't regret it. Be 
Just kidding! Scooby Dooby Doo! <laughs> that was a good one, old buddy, old pal, old friend! Oh, honestly! Oh, come on, Googie, lighten up! Believe me, we're all through with those werewolves and vampires and monsters forever! That's what he thinks. We're back!